Sometimes in your smartphone some important photos or videos may get deleted. In this video we will be telling about how to recover deleted photos, videos or audios or any type of files. For this we will be using two methods. In first method, in some cases your photos or videos will not be deleted permanently. It will be stored in separate folder. From there you can easily recover. For this what we need to do is open any gallery application. For example, here I am using Google Photos application and Google Files application. If you are using Android phone, most probably this application will be installed in your phone by default. Anyways, first I am using Google Photos application. After opening Google Photos application, here you can see every photos in your smartphone. First let me show you an example. For example, I am deleting this photo. Down here you can see delete option. I am deleting this photo. Now that photo is gone from gallery. After that what you need to do is, down here you can see library option, click on this library. Above you can see bin option, click on this bin. When you click on that bin option, you can see the photo which I have deleted. Down here you can see two more options, delete and restore. If you want to restore this photo, click on this restore option. After that here you can see allow option, click on this allow. Now that photo will be restored. If you are coming back to gallery, you can see that photo here. And one thing you should notice that if you are deleting any photos or videos using Google Photos, that photos or videos will be there in this bin folder only for 60 days. After 60 days, that will be deleted permanently. And if you have deleted backup photos or videos, it will be there only for 30 days. Anyways, after some days, these photos and videos will be deleted permanently. So if you have deleted that photos or videos within 60 days only, you can recover like this. And like this option, it is available in Google Files also. In Google Files, above you can see three lines, click on these three lines. Here you can see trash option. Here you can see every deleted file. Here one thing you should keep in mind is that if you are deleting files using Google Files application, that will be there in trash folder only for 30 days. Nowadays in most of the gallery application, this bin or trash folder is there. So if you are using any other gallery application, check for bin or trash or recycle bin. Sometimes your deleted photos or videos will be there. Now in second case, sometimes your photos, videos or files will not be there in this trash or bin folder also. In that case, what you need to do is, you need to install one recovery application from Google Play Store. App name is Dr. Phone. Anyways, I am giving link to this application down in the description. After installing the application, open this application. When you are opening this application, down here you can see agree option, click on this agree. Now if you want full version, you can pay and use full version. Anyways, we are going to use free version. For using free version, above you can see cross button, click on this cross button. If you want to register, you can register by clicking continue. Or if you don't want to register, down here you can see cross button, click on this cross button. Now you will reach a page like this. After that what you need to do is, here you can see so many options. Photos, videos, audios and files. If you want to recover any deleted photos, you can select this option. Or if you want to get back videos, you can select this option. Audios option and file option is also there. Anyway, select whichever you want. For example, I am selecting photos. If you are using this application for first time, you will be asked to give some permissions. To give permission, click on this allow button. After clicking on allow button, down here you can see allow access to manage all files. Turn this on. After that go back. After that again click on this photos option. Now you can see down here scanning zero files found. Wait for some time. Now if you are looking here, it is showing more than 80,000 files found. And scanning is not completed, it's still scanning. After that what you need to do is scroll down. Scroll down and check for your photo. Now here you can see so many photos. Not only recently deleted photos, old photos will also be there. But one important thing that you should keep in mind is that 100% photos that you have deleted will not be here. Some photos will not be here. But so many photos are here. So there is a chance that you can get that photos or videos from here. And another thing is that if that photo, video or file is not there in this application, you can use different application. Anyways, my recommendation is to use this application first. Anyways, to recover any photos, what you need to do is select that photo. For example, I am selecting this photo. 
After selecting that photo down here you can see recover option. If you want to select more photos, you can select more photos. Click on this recover option. This is a free version. If you are using free version, some ads will come. To continue above, you can see back button. Click on this back button. After that, here you can see continue option. And one thing you should keep in mind is that in this application daily, four times only, you can recover photos or videos. If you are using full version, you will get unlimited access. After that, click on this continue button. Since this is free version, some ads will be there. After watching, select the location to save this photo. For example, I am selecting phone album. After that down here you can see save button click on this save button. Now you can see recover successfully or if you want to recover any deleted videos, audios or files option for that also is there here. Procedures are the same like photos. So this way you can recover your deleted photos, videos, audios or files. Hope this video was helpful for you. If you find it helpful consider subscribing. See you in the next video.